program. Mark Shalhoub joins Mark. We're talking about 45 drownings so far this year. Four more drownings than at the same time last year, Tara. The Quebec branch of the Life Saving Society is pointing to all the beautiful weather we've been having since the spring. It's calling on people and communities to do more to prevent drownings. Swimming lessons are a must for this Point Claire family. Four-year-old Charlotte and two-year-old John. Their mom feels very safe at Canada's oldest public pool, 61-year-old Sunnyside. We don't have a backyard pool, but if we did, I'd be a lot more concerned because here we have the lifeguards, it's fenced in. Her husband, an ex-lifeguard, feels other communities don't always take it upon themselves to do a better job. I used to live in NDG, and there's some, there's some larger pools there that, uh, that sometimes you wonder if there's one lifeguard for a huge pool, even if, you know, it's within provincial regulation. He would like to see Quebec adopt more stringent rules around water. Close to 100 Quebecers drown every year, and the deadliest time is always during the construction holidays. Recent drownings, near drownings, and the two lifeguards on Il Biza who were fired for texting on the job have the Canadian Life Saving Society reiterate simple advice for National Drowning Prevention Week. Whether in a pool, a lake, or any other body of water, always watch children and keep them within an arm's length. We know drowning solution, particularly with the toddlers, is very uh, fast and silent. Registrations for swimming lessons are way up here. The supervising lifeguard says in light of recent drownings, these lifeguards are more aware, but they have always had a proper protocol in place with intense and thorough weekly training. Every, it's a mandatory meeting and we go over everything, so from CPR to drownings to unconscious victims. The city of Point Claire is also offering everyone the timely chance to be a hero in 30, a 30-minute workshop on children and infant cardiopulmonary resuscitation. This family man says all the recent drownings finally pushed him to get around to taking CPR. This is something that everybody should take at one point in their lives, but I have two, two young children myself, a six-year-old and two-year-old, and uh, for them, you know, they're always around pools. Point Claire's next CPR workshop at 81 Summerhill starts Monday at 5. One, two, three. Mark CTV News. It's been 64 days since Lin Jun was found dead in Montreal. <coughs> Today, a public memorial was held in Hampstead, paying respects. Oh,